everybody just want to do a quick video to uh, explain a couple things on the data logging for the max 4 esc from hobby wing and also the new max 5 g2 esc i've had some people asking me how do you pull up the data because you open the app and it's just like this table that doesn't show you much it's not really helpful so what um what you have to do is have your ESC turned on, have your OTA module connected, and then you open up your app. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the app here, get connected to the module. It knows the password. If it hasn't connected before, it may ask for it, or if you didn't save it, but the default is just 88888 or whatever. It's all eights, I think it's six eights. But anyways, what you'll do is you'll go into the data log option. And then a lot of people open up the car or the airplane. I'll show you here. They open this up and then it loads, but it's not really helpful information. You know, what you're looking for when, you, when you're thinking of a data log. It just kind of pulls up a table of info, which isn't really helpful. So... What you want to do is go into data log and pick real time data. And then the one thing you want to do is make sure that you have the motor information correct. So you go into the setting option here, and then you're going to set the motor pole, which they have a typo, <laughs> but uh, you're going to pick whatever your pole is, if you're running a two pole, four pole, or six pole, like a TP, something like that, TP motor, the SSS motors, um, hobby wing castle are all four pole pretty much. And then like the linear motors are two pole. So you just want to set that in here. So that way, when you go to the data log, you can actually read the correct RPM information. So you just set your motor pole. I already have it set to four. But just wanted to mention this here so now that we have that set you can go up to history up here on the top corner and then you're going to pick from ota and then it should load up here so i'm going to pick this one option from earlier when i ran it on the bench just a little bit to get some data in here because i cleared everything out so that way i could make this video and show you but anyways, you select it, then you hit view, and it takes a couple seconds. If it's a long data log, then it, it takes a few seconds to load, but it's not too bad. So here's your graph, and you can just use two fingers to scroll mm -hmm. apart to like stretch it out. Then you can just use one finger to move along the data log, but this is your graph, so you can see all of the, uh, the information here. So your data points for this are the motor RPM, throttle percentage, and then ESC voltage, the current temperature, and the motor temperature if it's supported. If you're running a hobby wing motor, you should be able to get the motor temperature data in there. If you're running a castle motor with the sensor wire adapter, that doesn't support temperature so it's not going to read that but this you can pull it up since we've got the hobby wing motor in this in this car and uh that's all the data so that's pretty much it you know like i said this is just a bench run so there's not really much interesting on here but i just wanted to show you how to do this so that way people know how to pull up this graph because it, it could be a little bit easier to figure out but um I mean, once, once you kind of know how to do it, then it's like, oh, okay, that, that's not too bad. But at any rate, that's pretty much it. So uh, hopefully this helps some people out. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment and I can try to answer them or help out and maybe do another video later and explain some more. But just wanted to put this out there and hopefully help some people out. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and take care, everybody. Thank you.